The design of the new cans looks more like an Apple product than municipal waste bin, and they come with a premium price, too. There is some of it about look, I mean, because we don't necessarily want, uh, as a bear trap, on, uh, on, uh, as the streets of San Francisco. Director of the Public Works Department, Alaric de Graffenried, says the estimate to make each can is twelve to $20,000, a total budget of $300,000 for just 15 cans. At a committee hearing Wednesday, Supervisor Matt Haney was visibly confused as to why it would cost so much, though he voted to move forward with the plan, not wanting to create further delays. $20,000 a can is... Uh, I mean, ridiculous. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a it's a a Fox News headline waiting to happen there. Um, really need to understand why it is it is so expensive. People on the street had similar reactions. Does that sound like a reasonable price for a trash can? No, I'm no. sorry, it doesn't. It sounds really bad. Twenty thousand dollars. You go to uh, Costco. Get them for $5. The city currently has more than 3,000 cans. The majority are these green ones, which have been around for more than 20 years. One of the problems the city has with this model is they say it's just too easy to tamper with. People can reach inside and pull the trash out, leaving it all over the street. The new designs all have slightly different features, but will be made out of stainless steel and will have sensors that can tell how full they are. It's going to be able to notify as ecology and also uh, tell us to send someone out to empty that can. De Graffenried says once they determine which one works best, the cost to actually produce them at scale will be around three to four thousand dollars each. That's the goal I have, is to have the best, most efficient trash cans in the world. The pilot is scheduled to begin this fall. In San Francisco, Matt Boone, ABC7 News.